A video game reacting, the tragedy at Sandy Hook shows up online after News 8 went looking for the game creator. Tonight, that horrific game has been taken down. Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Sonia Baghdadi. We got word that game of that game through our reported feature this morning. It already had 13,000 views by 10 a.m. We went digging for answers, and tonight, whoever had that sick idea has apparently had a change of heart. The title alone, The Slaying of Sandy Hook Elementary, was enough to infuriate. That's sick. I mean, I can't believe somebody have, like, you know, the guts to even try to do something like that. It's sickening. Like, why would you do that? Truthfully, I think that should reach the president. You know, I think the president should have something to say about that because that's serious. News 8 was made aware of the existence of the game, and we looked into where it came from. We are not going to name the website. We saw enough after a few clicks. It shows Adam Lanza walking out the door of his mother's home after taking her life and then takes guns to Sandy Hook Elementary. We contacted the website. They told us they were simply the host and did not create the game. I don't give it long before it comes down. Shortly after our email conversation, the game was taken down. The host website would not reveal the creator, but here's what they had to say. Quote, it's like YouTube, although we existed before YouTube. Anyone can publish here instantly. Your news, however, is by choice, so you should choose whether you really need to show this to the Sandy Hook victims. We explained that our viewers wanted help getting that game taken down, and it worked. The fact that it's gone to this level and somebody actually thought about it, it's pretty disturbing, and it's unfortunate. The guy should get in trouble for that.